interesting article that I just checked out about something that came to my attention probably last week. It's a portion of the brain that's called the um, ventromedial prefrontal cortex. And apparently in human beings, it's a lot um, larger of a percentage of our brains than in other animals and um, represents, from what I've read, um, a portion of our thinking that involves pulling yourself out of situations and kind of looking at the bigger picture, contextualizing in a way. Um, what is it that I'm doing here? How does it fit in with who I am and what my goals are in this situation? So I just wanted to kind of, well, real simply, I just wanted to read the article abstract and, I don't know, just put it out there. So here goes. It's called On the Role of the Ventromedial Prefrontal Cortex in Self-Processing, the Evaluation Hypothesis. And it's by um, Arnaud D. Argambeau. Yeah. So the abstract is, with the development of functional neuroimaging, important progress has been made in identifying the brain regions involved in self-related processing. One of the most consistent findings has been that the ventromedial prefrontal cortex, the VMPFC, is activated when people contemplate various aspects of themselves and their lives, such as their traits, experiences, preference, abilities, and goals. Recent evidence suggests that this region may not support the act of self-reflection per se, but its precise function in self-processing remains unclear. In this article, I examine the hypothesis that the VMPFC may contribute to assigning personal value or significance to self-related contents, stimuli, and mental representations that refer or relate to the self tend to assign unique value or significance, and the function of the VMPFC may precisely be to evaluate or represent such significance. Although relatively few studies to date have directly tested this hypothesis, several lines of evidence converge to suggest that the MPFC activity during self-processing tends depends on the personal significance of the self-related contents. First, increasing psychological distance from self-representations leads to decreased activiz activization, activation of the VMPFC Second, the magnitude of VMPFC activation increases linearly with the personal importance attributed to self-representations. Excuse me. Third, the activity of the VMPFC is modulated by individual differences in the interest placed on self-reflection. Finally, the evidence shows that the VMPFC responds to outer aspects of self that have high personal value such as possessions and close others. By assigning personal value to self-related contents, the VMPFC may play an important role in the construction, stabilization, and modification of self-representations and ultimately in guiding our choices and decisions. I think this article will be interesting to read because from what I've read up until this point, the VMPFC to me has seemed like it is a um, straight um, contextualization of the self in the world. And what this article is communicating is that it's not that per se, but how external um, stimulations refer back to the self, especially as they are conditioned to be connected to, to your um, self your conception of yourself. And the reason I guess this might be more developed in modern humans is because it might be evolutionarily adaptive to care more about who you are and how you convey and what you're connected to as sort of um, evolved insurance that you are protecting 
your projection. And I think it'll be interesting to read this article and come back with um, why it's important. And I might read a few others, and we'll see how it goes. Thanks for listening.